इसमान रहीम दिस वीडियो इज़ अबाउट म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस एंड हेयर विल बी सॉल्विंग एग्जांपल 13.2 पॉइंट टू एक्चुअली डिस्कसिंग एग्जाम्पल थर्टीन पॉइंट टू एंड बिकॉज ऑफ अ डाउट क्रिएटेड बाई अ स्टूडेंट आई हैव ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन ऑल थ्री पॉसिबिलिटीज दैट वील सी so straight away on 13.2 calculate the mesh current in this circuit and just to compare you can see earlier we had done this type of a circuit where this coil links or induces voltage in the second coil uh, because of current i flowing through this similarly the second coil induces voltage in the first coil because of the current i2 similar scenario will be here although there are cases now here i1 and i2 both flowing in this and the current i1 i2 will influence or induce a voltage here but current i2 in this coil will induce a voltage here so we'll see uh, how to proceed the first one is that we draw the diamond signs for the dependent source of the for the mutual induced voltages one for this coil and the other for the second coil and now this vo voltage is due to mutual current flowing through this mutual voltage due to current i2 flowing through j8 so i2 flowing through this will induce a voltage here so first of all we'll mark the polarity now you see this current i is entering the non dotted terminal therefore the non dotted end of this coil will be positive that means the bottom end will be positive so we have marked the polarity and then we'll put the value of this voltage now that will again be the mutual inductance j2 multiplied by i2 and so this is the voltage induced so this was uh, for the current i2 and now a slightly difficult part uh, the current flowing through j6 and its effect okay so the voltage this one is due to the current flowing through j6 so mutual voltage due to current through j6 and what are the options we have we can have three cases number 1 let the current through 6b j6 be ix so we are saying that i x current is flowing through this just like sh shown here i x is flowing and since i x is entering the dot at j6 now look i x i x is entering the dot at j6 therefore the dotted end of j8 will be positive so the dotted end here will be positive that means the right hand side will be positive so let's mark that this will be positive and then uh, what about the value now what is it it will be straight away we can say that it will be j2 times ix because ix is the current flowing through j6 so it will be j2 ix but what is ix if you see from this circuit ix is nothing but i1 minus i2 and so we can write j2 i1 minus i2 instead of a j2 ix so this is the circuit and this was for case number 1 now for those who are curious and like uh, one of my student he pointed out so discuss the other two possibilities the second case could be that let's say that the current is not flowing from the top as we mentioned ix current is flowing from the bottom going up 
and we call this current as I2. Then what will happen? First of all, this current I2, the same entering the dotted uh, non-dotted terminal, therefore the non-dotted end will be positive, so this will remain positive. And there is no change in the magnitude, J2, I2, so this portion will remain same. What about here? We are saying it's I2, I2 is now entering, uh, sorry, I, IY is now entering the non-dotted terminal. That means the non-dotted end will be positive as shown here. So the non-dotted end will now be positive. In the previous case, it was negative. And the value will be J2 and the current IY. Now IY, what is IY from here? You can see it's going up. That means it is I2 minus I1. So for IY, we can write I2 minus I1. So this is uh, one case. And if you just solve this pr problem with these values, you will get the same answer. The third case what if the both the currents flow in the same direction so like this one is flowing from up to down i2 is also flowing from up to down then what will happen first of all this one look i2 is now entering the dot here therefore the dotted end will be positive so this will be a change that now the positive will be at the top but the value remains same j2 i2 what about the other one now look this is coming down i y is now coming down in this case and so i y is touching the dot here and therefore the dotted end that is the right hand side should be positive and so we have drawn this this y and uh, the value will be j2 i y and where i y in this case now is the summation of the two i1 and i2 and therefore we can replace it by j2 i1 plus i2 so this will be you now the third scenario and i have solved both these on my notebook we get the same answer so you can try this anyway we will proceed with our case one Okay, so uh, this was the circuit and what we have done now is I uh, just replaced the dots and the mutual because now we have got all the equivalent circuits here and this voltage equivalent voltage. So there is no need of showing this and we have marked the polarities depending on this current I1 and similarly current I2 and now we are ready to write the KVL equations. So for mesh 1, we start from here, minus 100, plus 4 I1, plus minus J3 I1, plus J6 I1 minus I2, and minus J2 I2. And simplifying, we get this equation, we're just collecting the like terms. So this was for mesh 1. Mesh 2, we start from here, so J2 I2, J6, now we are in mesh 2, therefore it will be I2 minus I1, so I2 minus I1, then is J8 I2, J8 I2, minus J2 I1 minus I2, and plus 5 I2, and collecting the like terms, you can follow this step, so this is our second equation and now we have two equations we can easily solve these with the help of a matrix so this is the matrix uh, equation now and we know that i1 is delta 1 over delta i2 is delta 2 over delta and delta is this part And delta 1, if we replace the first column with the output voltage, so this is output voltage replacing the first column. And similarly, delta 2 is it by replacing the second column. And now we can easily solve these with the help of a calculator in complex mode. 
So this value and we can straight away convert into polar if you want. Delta 1, this is the value for delta 1. This is what is given in the book which is very close to what we have. Similarly, delta 2 and now I1 is delta 1 over delta, putting in these two values, this is the answer. And similarly, I2 is delta 2 over delta, putting in the values, we get this answer. So I hope uh, you have been able to follow and those who are curious, I strongly recommend that you do the case 1 and case 2 that I had shown in this. Uh, slides. Thank you.